Yeah, what's going on guys? We are back on the Madden 15 and a new batch of Final Editions came out, so you know we gotta check them out. As always, a great source for budget players and budget beasts, so let's get into it. Now this week, if you knock out this set, you get a 97 overall Cunner Bar and, and I already see a budget beast in the making, possibly or potentially if he's cheap in this batch. Now first up, we got a 92 overall Brandon LaFell, 6'2", 95 speed, 98 catching traffic, 90 release, and 96 catch rating. Final edition, finished second on the Patriots in touchdowns with seven, and earned 50 first down. Next up, we got Andre Williams coming in at a 92 overall as well, 5'11", 92 speed, 95 carry, 96 trunk, and 87 ball carrier vision. Final edition, led the Giants in rushing of 721 yards and found the end zone seven times. Next up, we got a left tackle, Jared Velda here. Six, damn, he's six, eight. He's pretty freaking tall. Six, eight, one on one strength, 92 run block, 97 pass block, and 92 impact blocking. Velda here played 1,089 total snaps in 2014 and only allowed four QB hits and one sack. Okay, pretty good campaign for him. And lastly, but definitely not least, the guy I've been waiting on for a minute. Honestly, I wanted somebody to do a GT of this guy, George Iloka. Let's check this beast out, baby. 94 overall strong safety. How much is he going for? Okay, going, going for 40k right now. Not really a budget base right now, but its price hopefully will drop. Check this bad boy stats out. 6'4", 92 speed, 96 excel, 92 hit power, 93 zone, and 82 pursuit. Final edition, finished second on the Bengals in both pass breakups and interceptions. Also added 74 tackles to his stat sheet. Now, pretty much this year, earlier in mud, I was just a fan of Iloka. I think he got like an outsider card. I really like that card. And then, of course, he's 6'4", so wow, in mud, I thought he was one of the better safeties in the game and he finally got an elite this year but it's kind of kind of late in the much season but he finally got one this card's cool too many 6 4 81 catch hit power a little lackluster only a 92 but once again not too shabby of a car now quickly if you guys don't mind man i don't know why but i'm feeling froggy and i feel like doing another flashback set so let's do one more knock out another flashback set we can do that quickly they're so cheap man it's only like 100k for a flashback pack that's crazy cheap and once again still got a Daryl Reeves sitting around lurking in packs and I think he still goes for a ton at least I hope he still goes for a ton I don't know we'll see and then also if you guys want to see a throwback pack opening let your boy know we could do those two personally I was just trying to do flashbacks so I can get a 99 Revis on my main squad because I really think he'd be a great addition to my uh, secondary, you know. So that's really the only reason why I'm pulling flashbacks. I'm trying to get my hands on that Revis. And of course, it's some other cool, I right, okay flashback pulls, but Revis is definitely, I think, the best the best pull out of those packs, so that would be a sick pickup. And alright, I think this is my last Elite badge. Let's go knock out this set. Down to what, a milli on this account? Damn, down to a milli! That's not too bad, I guess. Let's knock out this set, man. Hopefully, we can get a good pull. Hopefully, I got the gold badges for it, too, and silver badges. I, I think you need what bronze, silver, and elite. I probably have no silver badges. We'll see. All right, guys, let's do this. Quickly knocking out this set. Damn it, I got to buy some badges. I knew it would come to this silver badges going for 3K. God damn it. That's going to knock me under a milli, too. I wonder how many silver badges do I need. Just one, right? Oh, damn it, I need two. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, yes, I do. I need I need one more. Freak. All right, let me get one more for 3,100. It's not too bad, I guess. Can't do anything else with the coins, really. And I might get the silver badge. Hopefully, we got enough of the elite badges. I think I might be one or two short. We will see. That's six. Oh, we got enough. Let's do this. Flash backpack, please, Revis. I need some good vibes towards this pack. Here we go. Don't Revis, or is there anybody else worth getting... I guess uh, Marshall Falk, that's a thing, right? It's a flashback Falk. Kind of shitty, but it's a flashback Falk. That's a thing. Let's get it, man. Flashback pack. Two in two days. Well, that was a fail. Let's try this again. <laughs> Where's my freaking flashback pack at? And all right, flashback pack and some Siege and Badge packs, too. What's in this badge pack? What do we get? Okay, a Season Legacy Key and a Bronze Badge. Okay, that's kind of useless. Head to Head Master Pack. I wonder if they're going to update that set again. Probably won't. It is kind of late in the year, but it, it would be nice if there was one more update to flashbacks, throwbacks, and seasoned veterans. Because, like, Ed Reed retired. A lot of players announced retirement this year, so they could actually, or they could have put some beastly retired veterans in those packs. But a lot of those guys, I don't know I think about it, got Ultimate Legends. Like, Palomalu got the uh, the 24-hour card or 72-hour card, however long that was in packs. Ed Reed got an Ultimate Legend. Patrick Willis got an ultimate legend. I'm kind of rambling right now, so quickly, let me let me get this flashback pack. G get this quick Del Revis, and we'll call it a video. Del Revis, no, D'Angelo Williams. 
damn it, 97 overall. This is another good pull, though. The other day I got Abraham, today I got D'Angelo, and I think this might be like a 200k pull, 150k pull. I, I think this is a solid pull. 5 9. Ooh, I could have put him on the all time short list or short squad. He's pretty short. 5'9", 97 speed, 97 carry, 87 truck, mm, not too great, 95 ball carrier vision, and 95 excel. William led all halfbacks in 2008 with 18 rushing TDs, but also finishing third with 1,515 yards on an impressive 5.6 yards per carry. Damn! D'Angelo Williams had a pretty good 2008 campaign. I'll take it. Could have been worse. Could have been a whole lot worse. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Quickly, a look at the short squad. This gameplay will be out soon, probably in the next two or three days. And I might do another gameplay with this squad with D'Angelo Williams too. But yeah, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.